Hey guys, Smash Adams here, and today I want to talk about a few um, deck projects that I'm going to be working on for the next uh, couple of months. Um, I might upload them here and there and then update them, but I'm just going to explain them as I go along. The first idea that I had in mind was um, Constellars. Since I have um, most of the main deck, I'm just working on getting the rest of the extra deck. The M7 is the hard part, though. That's, that's all. But... Overall, I have an idea of how this will um, work well. Still need to get another Peladynamo as well, especially with um, where I'm at. The Zexal tins are really difficult to find, and I. But overall, I have an idea of how this is going to work out. Next, Ghost Tricks. I'm actually um, pretty much done with the deck. I just need uh, one Alucard and three um, Dunhams. Or, is it Dunham or Dunham? I'm, I'm not sure. It's a good name, whether you pronounce it, depending. Um, but yeah, Ghost Tricks is another project I'm working on. I'm practically done. I just need a few Marys, an Alucard, and, and a Dunham. But overall, I love the deck. It's, it's funny as hell. Next, Fire Kings. I actually am getting a Yaksha today from my friend. So that leaves only one more, and I'm... It's probably going to take me a while to fix up because Wolf Bark is expensive as hell and it might take me um, months if they reprint this thing within months, but I just hope by then I'll have the deck completed. But yeah, that's another project I'm working on. And Horus the Black Flame Dragon. I'm finally going to touch bases with that deck after like years of posting it on my um, channel. I remember this was the first video that I did and... Yeah, it needed work, but I'm kind of debating on how to run it, with whether it's with King Dragoon or Heretics or, or combining them with Her Heretics and Mythic Dragons, but we'll see how it pans out, but I'm definitely going to bring this deck back. Next, Elemental Heroes. I hope you can see all these here. I'm going to run Elemental Heroes, but I'm kind of debating whether to run the... Um, just a plain old Fusion Gate version, or run the Bubble Beat version with Mask um, Heroes and all that. But the only problem is finding a win target for Great Tornado. Hope you, call, you all can see it there. Yeah. The rest of the um, extra deck is fine. It's just finding a target for him that's going to be the problem. Because I'm not sure how many win decks I'm going to be facing this format. Next, I'm going to be running an anti-meta deck. Um... I'm still piecing it together. I'm almost done with it. I just need to find uh, one more Fossil Dino. And um, I might run the Sealvor Calcos in it. It's pretty fun. Because I already have the Trap Tricks. I already have a bunch of other things going on with it. Next, Heretics. Love this deck. It's one of my favorites. Next, uh, Horse the Black Flame Dragon and Chaos Dragons. Um, I might run the Mythic Dragons in there. Because they're fun to play with. And... Um, you can easily spam out heretics with um, Drag Luong on the field. Especially since I have two um, from the start. I don't have to worry about um, getting heretics all at once. So the minute I play Drag Luong, you've got a good recipe for a uh, heretic loop. Next, oh, this is funny. Dust Dons. I love this deck. It's funny. The minute you get rid of House, guess what? You have Goblin King, unless they play Valor firsthand. It's over. But I love this deck. It's hilarious. I'm supposed to be getting a white dust on um, pretty soon, though. Because I already got a one. I'm just trying to get a second one. Next, Light Swarns. I, noticed, I know that you guys noticed I've combined this with Chaos Dragons. The only reason why I do that is because, one, it's actually fun to play with, and two, because it's faster, rather than just running a standard... Um, Chaos Dragon deck with tour guides and such. Now I'm kind of iffy on running tour guide and Chaos Dragons, but we'll see how that pans out the next time I update my Chaos Dragon deck. But I'm going to make a separate deck from uh, Chaos Dragons. I'm going to run this as soon as the uh, structure deck comes out. I might even build it before the structure deck comes out. But um, overall, I like Light Swarms. I've, I've been playing them for a while in secret, but um, the only that's the only reason why I haven't been posting them. But it's a really fun deck to play. And it's budget-worthy, too. Next, let me see if I can get them back out here. These guys. 
people love him, people hate him. I love him, but a lot of folks hate him. But you know what? Hey, what can I do? I can't argue about it. I mean, that's how people are. Dragon Rulers, they're definitely going to be a project in the works again. So, still trying to figure out how to run them. I have the Blue Eyes engine still, but I'm, I might just run either run it that way or find a way to make them quick enough. But we'll see. I might combine them with different decks. I'm not sure yet, though. But, yeah, Dragon Rulers are definitely coming back. Another project that I'm working on, and this actually took my interest around Halloween, along with Ghost Tricks. Vampires. I, I have the uh, Dukes, and I have the Vampire Lords already. I'm just trying to get some shadows, because the rest of the extra deck is done. I just need the shadows and a couple of sorcerers, and I'm good. But I also need some more zombie support as well. But overall, I like um, the deck. It's hilarious. You play it right, you can recruit for a lot of vampires, and then before you know it, you've got a game depending on how you play it. You play it right, you've got what you need. Next, Chaos Dragons. Definitely going to update this um, later on. And because um, I, I have like tons of, of ideas for this deck. I might run the Seal of Oracalcos with it. I'm not sure yet, though. But I'm glad these guys came out. If it wasn't for them, I probably wouldn't be playing them the way they are now. Another project, Harpies. I'm almost done with the main deck, actually. I just need... Two, one more Chandler and three Dancers. That's it. And then the Lightning Chidores, I can easily, I can try and find from somebody. That's all I need for the extra deck. But overall, that's it. But yeah, this is coming along great. I, I love Harpies. Um, another deck that actually will be coming up within the next couple of days that I actually want to run again, even though I never posted it. Cyber Dragon. Um, yeah, but you heard me right. I'm running Cyber Dragon. The reason why I want to run this deck is because one, well, if most of y'all haven't known, um, before I ran Dragons, I was actually running Machines, which were actually pretty versatile way, way back in the day when Cyber Dragon was a thing. It still is a thing now, but with the structure deck now, I've, I've definitely got to tr try on this out firsthand when the deck comes out, but yeah, I'm definitely going to run this. Especially with um, Omega coming out and um, the Cyber Dragon Core and the new Cyber Dragon support and Cybernetic Fusion support. I don't know what took them that long to make that card, but man, this is going to be fun when it comes out. But yeah, Cyber Dragon's another project I'm working on. Next, and I know you all have been awaiting this for a while, Guardian Yatos with Macros. I'm still trying to tweak it up a bit. And make some changes, but it's getting there. I'm gonna I'm gonna update it and um, see how it'll work um, this format if I can. But I love this deck. Spirits. I'm still trying to get some Oratamas and a couple of other cards, but that's another deck that I'm gonna be working on. And finally, Evil Heroes. N no, your ears aren't playing with you, and no, I'm not I'm not messing with your mind. Um, yeah, I'm running Evil Heroes. Evil Heroes are probably one of my favorite um, heroes out of the game. When they first came out, I was actually stunned by how people play them. I mean, yes, not many people play them now because there's not a lot of support for them, but I am going to find a way to make them competitive enough to actually be uh, playable worthy. But yeah, Dark Guy is the main part of the engine. And along with a couple of other evil heroes, but I'm definitely going to work on this deck. So anyway, this has been another um, video. And I'm. if you guys have any suggestions on what kind of projects you have in mind, just let me know. And I'll, um, and I'll find a way to um, incorporate them too. So this has been another video by Smash Adams. And I'm signing out. Peace.